Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to Trademark. Today I will discuss a very important oscillator that is volume. Volume is a type of oscillator which is very important that derives from volume. For example, oscillators like ADX are derived from volume and there are lot of oscillators which derived from volume. Okay, what does volume do? Volume measures the number of shares traded in a particular time. For example, it shows in one day or in an one hour or in an one minute that how many shares were traded or exchanged at particular time. Do you know the three important raw data which we get from market that is price, volume and breadth. Price is which we get open, high, low and close. Volume which shows number of shares traded. Breadth shows that number of shares are in advance and number of shares are in decline. Let's see how to apply volume oscillator. Go to trading view software. In every trading software, this oscillator will available. Next, go to indicators, type volume, select it. Next, go to setting, in style, volume automatically selected. And another very important one, down select this volume MA, MA means moving average, click on it, this line is black line, black in color, wait, I will change color, black to blue line, in inputs, make it as 20, these are very important changes, 20 means 20 moving average, these are very important changes, 20 moving average plays a very important key role in this volume oscillator. How? Let's see. Now volume looks like this with 20 moving average. Why I apply 20 moving average? This 20 moving average is mid band. Same 20 moving average I apply in price also. And my guru also suggested and I back tested for a couple of years and then I started using this. These red and green color poles are volume bars. When I move cursor to volume, above it showing open, high, low, close and volume, volume numbers. 16 million, 7 million, 13 million. It means 13 million shares are exchanged, exchanged on the particular day. This is daily chart. So, let's see what is the use of the volume. Okay, common sense says that big poles are high volume, small poles are less volume. Is it right? No, not at all. Here is the tricky. This 20 moving average line plays key role to identify strength, strength of the volume. Let's see. Sometimes volume under blue line and look this part, here volume is above the blue line and continuously it's above the blue line. So it indicates whenever the volume crosses blue line continuously then only we consider high volume. It need to break blue line, blue line is nothing but 20 moving average and look this one, this one and uh, here one more breaks blue line. We should not consider these two volumes are high volume. Only volume crosses blue line continuously. I said continuously. Then only we need to consider as a high volume. And one more. Look here. This breaks blue line and this also breaks blue line. This is low volume and this one is high volume. No, not like that. Both are high volume only. If you compare both, it's little low. Our duty is that whenever volume cross blue line, we need to consider as a high volume and don't compare with number wise like 20 million, 25 million. If it is 20 million means good volume, 5 million means bad volume. Don't compare like that. It depends on price with liquidity. These basic things are very important. We need to understand. Okay, now it's clear. Now let's move little advanced level. There are four different types of volumes with different kinds of price levels. Let's see what are there. Let's see, first case, price is moving higher and volume also moving high. Volume is moving high means buyers are higher than the sellers. No, not like that. It says buyers are increasing and sellers also increasing. Overall participation is increasing. First of all, who creates such a big volume? You and me can create it. No, it's impossible. Only big bulls, big bulls create big volume. So who are these big bulls? They are FII's foreign institutional investors and 
DII domestic institutional investors like mutual fund they are big bulls we are retail players so big players create big volume big player creates big volume with big trend so big players are trend setters we are trend followers that's why we need to go with the flow so when price moves towards upside with high volume this is the sign of strong bullish market when price moves towards upside means buyers are ready to buy at the higher price and it keeps on moving in bullish side it's all about demand and supply so we need to compare volume with price don't look only volume okay what it says volume is increasing good sign means participation is increasing and price also increasing so market is in strong bullish strong bullish market nothing but growth in price growth in volume let's see case number 2 when volume is decreasing means volume under blue line that means volume is shrinking participations are very less let's see what the price is doing price is making higher tops and higher bottoms it moving towards upside what it means it says market moving towards upside without the strength without the participations that means big bulls are not interested not interested to buy at the upper levels or big bulls are avoiding this stock so immediately we can short this stock the answer is no we never do such mistakes because it's not sign of bearish it's sign of weak bullish understand properly there is lot of difference between bearish and weak bullish weak bullish is a early sign it may goes into sideways or retracement or reversal so we need to be alert it indicates we need to invest safely next third case in this case volume is increasing means participations are increasing that means volume is moving above the 20 ma blue line it says big bulls are interested okay let's check the price then only we can understand in which market big bulls are interested so price is making lower tops with lower bottom it means big bulls are interested in bearish market it indicates market is strong bearish so short selling is more the market is very weak so selling opportunities is very high it indicates in further steps also it may fill lower levels it represent decreasing in price with increasing in volume next fourth case in this case volume is decreasing means volume is moving under 20 ma blue line that means big bulls are not showing any interested not showing any interested in which market to know that we need to check the price price is making lower tops with lower bottom means big bulls are not interested in falling market that means immediately market will be bullish no right it's sign of weak bearish it says if you are in short side be cautious or exit short position it's an alert signal we need to wait for confirmation these four cases are very important and uh, i will share one golden rule volume are more accurate in stocks less in indices why because these big players like fis and dias they try to hedge their position in indices they buy stocks and they will hold it for couple of years so it indicates perfect volume signals comes under stocks and they will hedge on indices and one more important one many have one big question that is in which time frame we need to check this volume whether one minute or hourly or daily or weekly or monthly this time frame rules is apply for every oscillator that we used rsi whether macd or bullinger bands or volume or any of them first before taking trade always remember the time frame depends on how long you need to participate in the trend if your holding period is one day that it becomes intraday then go and check 15 minutes and one hour chart one hour volume if you need to hold stocks for one weeks to two weeks go and check four hours and daily volume if you need to hold less than 3 months to 6 months then check daily volume or if you need to hold more than 6 months to 1 year go and check daily and weekly volume if you need to hold more than 1 to 5 years go and check 
weekly and monthly volume. These are very important rules. These are very important basic rules. In further classes, I will go advanced level in volume, like how volume helps in breakouts, breakouts in patterns and in fake breakouts, how to find climax volume, how to identify volume divergence and some other. That's it guys. Good to see you in next video. Jai Hind.